Well, good evening, group, and welcome to week four. And uh, we'd like to, as usual, on a Sunday evening, just take a quick look at where we were the past week and what you've got to look forward to this week. Um, this week is another packed week. Uh, you can see there's a lot of material in the course again. We're going to continue forward with the idea of developing competitive advantage. But I'm also going to ask you to look at some what I think are very interesting and maybe slightly different uh, types of um, videos about some ideas that maybe, uh, maybe you're not expecting, but there are a couple things that we want to look at. Uh, for instance, the, uh, the TED video um, called The Last Mile Problem. Um, I, I think you might even have to watch that twice before you really... Uh, some of you may really wonder why is it in there. Uh, take a look at it twice, and then you may see quite clearly why it has to do with the development strategy. Um, we also have the uh, uh, a PowerPoint, uh, a lot of things about new markets and new market trends. Uh, that's very important for us to realize. Uh, that's put in there just to stir you up and get you thinking in a different way. Remember, one of my goals is almost always is to have people uh, come in and out of the course saying, gee, I never thought of it that way before. This is, uh, doesn't have to do that. Uh, I have another PowerPoint by a colleague and friend of mine, Dr. Zvi Goldman. Uh, Zvi is uh, one of the, uh, the uh, program managers in the MBA program, and he graciously put this uh, PowerPoint together for us. One of Zvi's specialties is strategy and strategic planning. And what I think you're going to find this useful for, particularly as you enter the group project, is developing sort of a, a roadmap for, for building strategies. So, so that's important. Um, there, there, there's just some, some interesting things in there. Uh, we have another video at the very end that you may look at and say, gee, why is that there at all? Uh, so that's, uh, that's interesting, too. Uh, one of the other reasons I'm making this particular video tonight, too, is just to, uh, to kind of enforce for myself what I hope to enforce for everyone else. You know, I, I originally thought this evening that I could get lazy and just post up the video that I made for the last month. I mean, after all, you're at the same point in the course. Uh, the observations are pretty much the same. I'm trying to explain the same things as the, you know, week four, this, this mod looks, uh, an awful lot like week four last mod, a uh, group project, uh, is at about the same stage. Uh, why bother to take the time to make an entirely new, uh, entirely new recording? Well, the reason is that each class is different. It's made up of different people, different backgrounds, different perspectives. It's different. And I don't think it's fair to just come up with a one-size-fits-all solution. Because, frankly, business is not a one-size-fits-all solution. Strategy is not a one-size-fits-all solution. So why should we try to get away with that? So what I've done is I've included that video anyway, so make sure that those points are captured and conveyed to you. But I'd also like to make sure that we, in our class, are looking at what we've done. And so that brings me a couple points about last week's discussion board. Um, it's pretty good performance, as has been the first three weeks. But what was interesting uh, to me was, for instance, this time around, there seemed to be a, uh, a more of an emphasis from this class on uh, John Cotter and the sense of urgency video. And there's quite an appreciation, apparently, for what urgency is all about and why urgency is important in business and in just about anything else that we do. So uh, that was uh, very gratifying to me to see that, and uh, very interesting to see how that's going to fit into uh, your projects in particular as you start to develop strategy and put things together. It's a little bit of a, a thing I'm going to watch for now, saying, oh, this class seems to be very interested in that, and how that's going to play out. Uh, flip side of that is this is the absolutely first class where almost nobody has commented on the you know, Rory Sutherland perceived value video uh, that usually gets quite a reaction from from uh, the students and you know what this time around got almost none 
So I'm going to be very interested in that. I, I'm not, uh, again, I'm not upset by that at all. I find that very intriguing. I want to use that as sort of another data point that I can use to, to follow through and see the interpretations that this class puts on things. Um, the, uh, the discussion board itself, like I said, again, it's pretty live, but it's pretty active. Um, posts are, are good. Make sure that uh, we stay on, stay on topic as usual. Be very careful to, uh, you know, I, I was hoping not to have to say anything about this, but, you know, a couple of people I've had to approach privately, uh, you know, when, when you, in fact, I saw the words in someone else's post that were praising a fellow student for, for not doing a cut and paste job. Uh, guys, cut and paste jobs are just not acceptable. Uh, they're not only just a lazy and easy way out, uh, they're just outright wrong. Uh, it, it's, 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 I, I'm, I'm so reluctant to say the word plagiarism, but there it is. I just said it. You can't do it, okay? And uh, again, I wish I didn't have to say this, but apparently I do. If you take a piece from anybody, I don't care if it's a sentence, a phrase, if you paraphrase their idea, you have to give them credit for it. You have to give attribution. You must cite the work. And we had, unfortunately, a couple instances where some people just took passages that I could find lifted right off of other websites or other texts, word for word, and put them in as though they were their discussion board posts. Uh, guys, you can't do that, okay? I, I just can't say it enough. That is indeed plagiarism, and it won't be tolerated. It will not do you any good. It doesn't help anybody. So, uh, in fact, some of it may be our fault. That, uh, by our fault, I mean the, the, the faculty that we haven't been enforcing it earlier. But by this stage, you're, you're, you're in a 400 level class. You're seniors. You should know better. All right. So please, please avoid that at all costs. All it takes is a simple citation of the other person's work. Let me know the source. Like I said in some communication with other people, you know, I, I read scholarly articles, I read texts, I read journals. It's my job, okay? I write for journals, I write scholarly papers. It's my job, okay? So when something shows up that's clearly not student work, it sticks out like a sore thumb and I find it right away, okay? So please, again, don't do it, all right? Just let's stop it now. Let's put this behind us. Let's move forward in a proper direction. All right. The discussions, again, they have been very good. I, I like what I'm seeing. I like the interaction between people. This is what it's all about. Keep that up. The group project. Don't wait to get started. Out of the groups that got put together, and like I said, I used the random group assembly tool from, from Blackboard. Seems like all but one group got off to a good start. There's been communication, there's group discussion boards. One group, when I last checked it yesterday, I believe, zero activity. I don't remember which group it was, but you'll know who you are. All I can say to you guys is you've wasted a week. Now you've only got five weeks left to do this project. We do this project for a lot of reasons. It's a simulation of the type of work you're going to be doing in the in the uh, business world as you go forward. It's executive level work, it's collaboration work, it's communication work, it's critical thinking work, okay? It's work that's gonna test your competencies. This is very important stuff. Don't leave it to the end. I expect high level work out of this class. I see the capability for it. I'm going to expect it. I'm gonna try to give you every bit of help I can, so make sure you ask me questions. Make sure you utilize the tools in your group setup that are there. You have a discussion board. You have file sharing. You have several tools available to you. Make sure you're using all of them, okay? We'll put more together about the project as we go along. But again, the worst question is the one that doesn't get asked. So ask me any question you have. I'm here to try to answer them as fast as I can and be as helpful as I can. Sometimes I may frustrate you because I'm asking you to do some real critical thinking and to think on your own. So occasionally I'll get a question and ask, and my answer will come back to you. I'm going to give you a couple of guidelines, and you figure it out from there. At this level, that's the kind of question you're going to expect. 
that's the kind of question and the answer you're going to get at, at a high level in the business world. You guys are supposed to be figuring it out for yourselves now. I'm a facilitator. All right, that's my summary for tonight. Like I said, each class is different. I didn't take the easy way out and just plug in something because it wouldn't have made as much sense for you. So, uh, welcome again. We're almost halfway there. Welcome to a very interesting and clogged up week. I hope you're enjoying at least what we're seeing. I hope you're learning as we go along. You're going to be learning more from each other now as you go into the project. And let's just make sure the best efforts are being given by all of us. Thanks very much.